Bonjour, monsieur, and welcome back to the channel, everyone. Hope everyone's well. So today, what have we got? Well, clearly, it's an Opinel. Another one, a number eight. Okay. Um, basically, look at that. Nicely presenting that lovely sustainable box. I'll just uh, turn that around so you can read. You can pause that and read it if you wish. Um, designed by Joseph Opinel and back in 1890. Wow. Over 100 years ago, as some of you know. All right. Okay. It was actually built or made, rather, in Savoie. France, which is basically the French Alps, okay, in case you didn't know. Um, let's pop this puppy out. No instructions as such, because you don't need them, do you? They're bas it's basically form and function. <laughs> you don't need instructions to use this one, right? Just be careful, that's all. And there she is, guys. Absolutely lovely. Look at that. French icon. Nice pattern, nice graining. Yeah, liking that. Okay, let's turn her over. Okay, the blade centering is slightly leaning to the right. That's going to happen sometimes. These are made on mass. You can see quickly where the locking ring is, that collar, and that extra safety locking ring. Basically, that's locked in position because if you've got it on your person, in your pocket, it's not going to come out accidentally. Or, moreover, if you've got a family, you're out with a picnic, and you've got young children, they're not going to accidentally open it up. So good to know, right? Really extra good safety, okay? And there she is, guys. There's a the money shot. Welcome to the classic number eight walnut. Just gorgeous. This is a French icon. It's legendary. <laughs> it's, you know, it's a work of art in many ways, isn't it? It just is. It's so such a great all-purpose blade. It really is. Comes in beech, oak, olive, uh, ebony, many limited editions you can even get bespoke made up to your spec for a loved one or friend or whatnot okay uh, just just a great good in the hand as well anyway what's similar well you know i have to think about i'm looking at the time it was um, invented and such like so of course you've got the victorinox which is on parallel even though that was made um even though it's not a wooden handle as such it was still round about that era that time and it's got that longevity. And then, of course, we've got the Taylor's Eyewitness of Barlow. So these are just over 100 years old. This was just over 150 years old, okay, when Taylor's Eyewitness um, first started, okay. Even though the Barlow pattern goes back to 1670, back just outside of Sheffield, as you may know. Anyway, so let's back get back to this. So that drop point. Now, if you notice, let me cast your eyes to this bit here. See that shallow clip? It's almost like a shallow Turkish clip. And you'd be right, it is. Because this, okay, with the nice deep belly on it, look at that, so practical that belly's going to be. Okay, the reason that curved profile is in that traditional Yatakon style, okay, which originates from Turkey or the Ottoman Empire, okay. Uh, in case you didn't know, I just thought I'd mention it. <laughs> okay, all right, so you might be new to my channel. Yeah, I know a lot of you are going to know that. So anyway, the point is that it's a lovely flat uh, grind, full flat grind. That's going to be a super slicer. It really is. Um, any blade play? None. Not, not on your Nelly. Okay. I've got a full four finger. I'm super comfortable. It really is. And I've got size large XL hands and size nine guys. Okay. We've got um, a blade uh, logo just here. As you can see, Opinel Inox with the crown just there stamped on there. Nice, clean and clear uh, stamp okay nothing on the reverse but basically the inox is that lovely stainless steel inox it's a very good budget stainless steel so it's easy to maintain holds a reasonably fair edge okay it's quite similar to 12c27 okay let's just say um satin finish that's going to prevent finger um you know fingerprints and such like okay but that stainless steel is also very good in a temperate environment like the UK, okay, because where there's obviously a lot of wetness and stainless steel, as you probably know, was invented in Sheffield, uh, since we mentioned Sheffield earlier in 1913, I believe, from memory. Anyway, so moving on quickly, there is no half stop as such, but you don't need it because you've got the lock up, haven't you? There you go, right? If I was to break this knife, if I was to, when well, I don't literally mean break it, of course, and if you're new to my channel, that's what we meant. We breaking it is like that, okay? You've got pull the knife and breaking a knife is like that, okay? So if I was to break the knife, we're talking about a four, and to pull it is about a four, okay? Um, yeah, that's which is nothing, is it, right? We've got that lovely stainless, that classic stainless steel collar, 
okay which of course you have that safety lock that safety locking ring okay if you want to lock it up all right which you would be a good advice to do um you can do that in an open or closed position okay that lovely walnuts um quite close grain there actually uh, handle which is great one of my favorite hardwoods just is um i mean i like the beach and other and the other ones as well i'd like to get an emily one actually but this is just for me i just love walnuts one of my favorites and that lovely fishtail on the end of it not only is it aesthetically pleasing and traditional it's also very practical it gives you an anchor uh, you're not going to slip so when he was gutting fish or skinning an animal or something like that you're not going to slip with um you know just because it gets quite greasy if you will and fatty right taking it in a fat layer off or the hair and such like yeah Anyway, so good fit and finish overall. Um, no hot spots, of course. It's exceptional ergos. It really is for a traditional. Everyone knows about this. It fits like a glove. It really does. This is also known to take a wicked sharp edge. It's going to be sharp out of box and a super slicer. So check that video coming up now while I do the measurements. So basically, the measurements are as follows. The actual blades, you're talking about eight centimeters, about three and a quarter inches. Thickness is going to be about, um, which I don't know, you know, about one and a half mil, something like that. Just over, yeah, one and a half mil, 0 0.6, 0 0.6 of a, 0 0.06 rather, of an inch, okay? Which is still reasonably stout enough and strong enough, but it's thin behind the edge. And it just gives you such a wicked edge, and it's a super slice, it really is, okay? So overall length, I know that's going to be looking straight away, tell. Over seven inches, yeah, seven and a half inches, okay, or about 18 and a half centimeters. So closed, um, we're talking over just over four inches, I think, from memory. Let's have a look. Let's flip that way around. Hold on. Oh, gee, way up there. Uh, yeah, about four and a quarter inches, uh, about 10 centimeters, okay. The weight on this, it's light. It's been years since I've had one. Um, I was going to say about 50, 42 grams, guys, or 1.4 ounces, well, nearly 1.5 ounces, okay? That is light, which is great. You're not going to notice it on your person if you're on the trail. You're just not, okay? Um, I mean, this knife is legendary, guys. It's got such a story, historical story behind it, like Victorinox, like Taylor's Eyewitness, all these classics and the German knives made in Sologen, okay? It just has, because this... Our forefathers, um, these knives would have used them probably. Well, even if you're in the British Army, you lost your knife or something like that, and you had to replenish it. You get and you're fighting in France in World War One or World War Two, or the American GIs <laughs> fighting the Germans. That this is probably what you'd get. This was ready, uh, ready available, right? So yeah, it's an icon, guys. It's it's for me. This is such a practical, durable, and versatile knife. Um, in a traditional pattern, okay? It's great for food prep. That's what I bought it for. That's what I'm going to be using it for. You can use it for basic bushcraft. So many different things, as we talked about earlier. It's an iconic and legendary carry. Simple. It just is. An exceptional all-rounder. Fantastic value. Great for a birthday, anniversary, or special occasion. I would highly recommend this knife. And based on the fact that it's, it's cheap as chips, it's basically peanuts, it's not a lot of money, um, you know, it's five stars. It is five stars. I'd normally probably give this about four and a half, something like that, you know, if it was a bit more, if it was double the price or something. But because of the money, the value you're getting for this, it's a five star knife. Simple. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. For price and availability, see the links below. Show your support by giving us a like and hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Stay sharp.